these big curlers. Let us love like we were children. So Riley, I really love Irish people too. And so for the remainder of this video, I will try and speak in my best Irish accent. If you are Irish, please don't say anything at all. Part of my love for Irish comes from one of my favourite books called O'Sullivan's Do. And I figured I'd read you a page or two. The main character is talking to the king, telling the king how she's been in a worse spot than this. Well, your lordship, I had always been warned of to beware on Midsummer's Eve. Weird things can happen. People can disappear forever. So I was hurrying home after milk and jasmine late in the afternoon of that dreadful day when a strange sleep overtook me. Try as I might to resist, I had no power against it. I awoke to find myself bound up like cobwebs with a mummy. Tiny fair hands were carrying me through the fields and into the forest. We flew through the night until we reached a great clearing. There in the moonlight stood the king of the leprechauns himself, with all his grand and glorious company. The leader of the fairies came forward to greet him. A war between the fairies and the leprechauns has been set, and the fairies presented me as a peace offering. They hoped it might be useful to the king, but he took one look at me and fell madly in love. He wanted to marry me that very night. With a clap of his hands, the wee folk set to, to work preparing a grand wedding banquet. Now that was a party I'll not soon forget. The whole forest was dancing that night, and the music, it would have made the angels do a jig. Finally, the moment came for the wedding to begin. Tiny fair children flitted all around, showering me with golden fairy dust. I began to rise dreamily upward, when suddenly, ah, 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 shoo! I don't actually know if I held the book high enough for you to see, but it's one of my favourites. And you may be wondering why I have curlers in my hair. I'm going to a wedding soon and I have time to make a video. I know it looks kind of silly. In response to you, Robin, you talked about Esther and her story, and I had to say, Esther is probably my favourite character from the Bible. Jesus is all that and all, and love Jesus. But Esther and her story is just so inspiring and I just really look up to her as a role model. And if you really like Esther, you might like this book called Chosen by uh, Ginger Gar... Gin Ginger Garrett. Garrett. Uh, it features the story of Esther and in Esther's perspective and just... It's as though you're reading letters from Esther herself as she's going through different things and it was an amazing read. And if you have a chance, I suggest you check it out. So, for all of you, I have nothing else to add except for maybe you can do your best Irish accent this week. I know mine's not very good, but I have fun. So. <laughs> now, Riley, I really like St. Pat St. Patty's Day too, and green is my favourite colour, as you may be able to tell from the walls behind me. So for the remainder of this video, I'm going to do my best to talk with an Irish accent before I lose it and I lost it. Run, child! Get help! Kate ran straight to the village square. Quick, everyone, she called out. The witch is in trouble. The king's soldiers are taking her horse. The folks stared at Kate for a moment, then went back to their torch. She grabbed old Murphy's arm. Didn't you hear me? she shouted. Our witch needs our help. What do you mean, our witch? he asked with a shrug. She's not one of us. Blah, 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 blah. They were too busy, the witch shrieked at Kate. They're never too busy when they need a cure for a fever, or a hex on their pets, or their love potion. Not one of us, indeed. The old woman hobbled toward her door, then turned to Kate. Save those periwinkles, child, she said. You may need them. It was a black day indeed when Kirkhaven's witch went into a snit. The fishnets came up empty, the cow stopped giving milk. Gardens died, trees fell on houses with remarkable accuracy, and the rain was heavier than usual. Desperate townsfolk went to the witch to beg for mercy, but were met by a sign on her gate. Don't bother. I'm not one of us. Everyone is one of us. Party. <laughs> I really think I had a bad Irish accent there. <laughs>